So yes. So Yahweh um, chose a cloud to symbolize itself, but Yahweh is not a cloud, mm -hmm. okay? Because the cloud is no particular or descriptive shape or form, okay? okay? So this is Yahweh in pure spirit in his pure spirit state, mm -hmm. okay? Takes on shape and form. See, as Yahweh Elohim, all right? Mm -hmm. and it manifests itself in the physical body as Yahshua Messiah, that the first speaker already had went over, okay? Mm -hmm. But I'm just doing just picking up right where she left off, okay? So, like she said, the, the only three things that Yahweh told man to man to build him, right? Mm -hmm. Meaning physically structures, right? right? Only three structures in the history of mankind, all right? Mm -hmm. Only physical structures, okay? Only now. The ark, the tabernacle, and the temple, okay? We already read about them, okay? You mm -hmm. can also put with the temple, because the temple, uh, like the first speaker says, had an oracle, sanctuary, porch, okay? Mm -hmm. One temple, three levels to the temple, okay? Mm -hmm. Which I want you, so you, but you actually find those words, sanctuary and porch, in First Chronicles 28. Read the whole chapter for yourself. And also, you will find it in uh, First Kings, the sixth chapter. You will it will say Oracle in there. You got me. So you will find you will so for those two chapters combined. Read them both. You will find what will say Oracle in there, mm -hmm. Sanctuary and Porch. You got me. Okay. That makes up the Temple. You got me. Okay. You see it. You see how I go. Mm -hmm. That that's validation. That that's that's proving that. You got me. Okay. okay. Tabernacle. You can just come over here. Belly illustration. So the tabernacle, you have a most holy place, is that right? Mm -hmm. Holy place and a court round about, is that right? That's right? Three compartments, one tabernacle, is that right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to come right here, back to open to, to the ark. So the ark, according to Genesis, the sixth chapter, is that right? That's right. It says that he told him, in other words, the ark was three levels. Yes. Upper level, middle level, or upper deck. Middle deck, lower deck, is that right? Mm -hmm. One arc, three levels, mm -hmm. representing Yahweh, Elohim, and Yahshua, is that right? Mm -hmm. These three are one, mm -hmm. a unity of the first people that have read Deuteronomy 6 and, and 4. You know, is that right? That's right? Here, O Israel, mm -hmm. Yahweh, our Elohim, is Yahweh a unity, is that right? That's right. Didn't I say that Yahweh, our Elohim, is Yahweh of Trinity? Didn't I say, is that right? <laughs> that's right. So that's what's being taught, and the first speaker went over it, in, in, these, in the religious world. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, about the different sects, creeds, and cults, you understand what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? The, all the different religions, okay? And this school is not a religion, and Yahshua... The Messiah, if you, really, if you read the stories, read the Bible stories, Yahshua, the Messiah, the Savior of the universe, was against religion. You understand? Mm -hmm. So this is, a, this is a research organization dedicated to showing proof. You got me? Mm -hmm. Showing proof. You got me? This is a scientific, religious research organization. You got me? We're not a religion or, 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 or religions. You got an organization. We investigate religions, okay? <laughs> you understand? Yeah. And their doctrine, all right? Yeah. So, so we know no man after the flesh, okay? Mm -hmm. We're dealing with spirits, okay? Mm -hmm. This is a this is the I'm using this chart right here. This is what we call a dispensation age chart, okay? In other words, dispensation is orderly or, of affairs by Yahweh. You got me? Mm -hmm. Or timetable, you understand? For mankind, okay? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ages, okay? Mm -hmm. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dispensation, you got me? Mm -hmm. So you have ages and dispensations going hand in hand, okay? So now we're in, we reside now in the fourth age, present kingdom age, you got me? Which is a, which is a, oh, how can I say it? Which is a twofold principle. We have, we, see, we still need physical bodies, is that right? Right. But we're coming to a spiritual understanding now. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we like in a, a, a two-fold way. We, we, it's, a, a, it's a spiritual age and a physical way. I'll say it like that. A physical, spiritual age, physical, spiritual and physical dispensation. You understand? Because mm-hmm. it says spiritual kingdom on earth. You don't say physical kingdom. You see that? Right. Spiritual assembly, body of Yahshua. You got me? Holy Spirit. Don't say holy flesh. You got me? Mm-hmm. Holy Spirit through faith. You see how it go? Mm-hmm. So that's what we're dealing with. So the point I'm making is this. We know no man after the flesh. See, the first speaker I already had read, Matthew. You got me? The 10th chapter, verse 19 and 20. You said it would be Yahweh the Father. Is that right? Mm-hmm. That we're doing speaking through the vessel. Now we got to go a little deeper than that, okay? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So now, go right back up here. So Yahweh, the pure spirit state is incomprehensible and inscrutable. Is that right? That's right. Take the form of Yahweh Elohim, okay? So this right here is the standard, mm-hmm. okay? You know what a standard is, is that right? So if you're not going by the standard, or if the standard one is not inside of you, you see what I'm talking about? You can pick it off. You understand? So this is the standard. You got me? You understand? Yes. So, it, so, so watch how I'm saying this. So he's the standard. You understand? He is come. Yahweh Elohim Yahshua manifests himself in the physical body. You got me? Went through his death. Burial. So you have the same pictorial expression here as you have here. Okay? Which was death burial, the physical body was consumed in a tomb, okay, mm-hmm. resurrected a quickening spirit, or also say a super, or, or back to his heavenly, heavenly, anthropomorphic, superincorporeal form, okay, you got me, without flesh and blood, okay, mm-hmm. okay, so he tears on the earth plane for 40 days, in this, in this state right here, seen, Seen in infallible proofs. You got me according to Acts, the first chapter, I believe it is, okay? You got me? And also Matthew 16 and 12. I mean, Mark 16 and 12, okay? So then, after the 40 days, he ascends up to the Father, okay? Mm-hmm. In super corporeal form. Ten days later, meaning June 6, 50 or 5, pours out the Spirit, meaning Pentecost. Is that right? Mm-hmm. On the Jews first. You understand? Mm-hmm. And on the Gentiles seven years later. So in other words, Yahshua, Yahweh Elohim, Yahshua, he's real one, come back in the form. Because in other words, according to John 17, I mean John 19, you understand? I mean they pierced him in the side, right? right. What came out? Water. Blood and water. Is that right? Yes. So the blood is Yahshua, representing Yahshua. The water represented Elohim, you got me? Mm-hmm. And it said he gave up the ghost, is that right? Mm-hmm. That spirit being Yahweh, you got me? There's mm-hmm. three right here, you got me? So then three was poured out. You got me? You got to go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. How do you know that? Don't you breathe air? It's not the spirit in your body? Yes. Don't you have blood in your body? Yes. But you can't see it, but you know up there how it get, get cut. Right. You got me? Some blood going to come out, is that right? Okay. And you have water, is that right? How do you know that? Because you go to a restroom and do a bowel move, ain't that something? Mm-hmm. Or and also you you do what you call a uh, sweat. You mm-hmm. got me? Just like Adam, ain't that something? He mm-hmm. did the working. That sweat, that sweat cup coming off that head cap. You got me? Work, work the sweat of his bra coming out. That water. You see what I'm talking about? You got so you got air, it's not the spirit, water and blood in the, in your physical body. Is that right? That's right. Is that right to a witness? Right. To Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, these three are one. You got me your spirit, the water, and the blood. These three agree in one. Ain't that something? Mm-hmm. You got to get it now. Get from me first, um, first, um, first John 5 and 8, or 7 and 8. You can read it from the King James Bible, please. Okay. First John, five and seven and eight from the from the King James Bible. Yes. Uh, King James version. Uh, First John five seven and eight. Read. For there are three that bear record in heaven. Now there are three that bear record in heaven. Read. 
the Father, the Father Yahweh, the Word, the Word or Son Elohim, read, and the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Spirit, read, and these three are one. These three are three individuals. See, these three are of one. Course. These three are unity. You got me? Just like it said over there in Deuteronomy 6 and 4. You got me? Mm -hmm. Read. And, and there are three that bear witness in earth. Now, there are three that bear witness in this earth. Read. <laughs> the Spirit. The Spirit. Now, you have on this tabernacle pattern. You have this cup of anointing oil. Symbolic the Spirit. Read. The Spirit. The water. The water is just brazen labor. Have water in there to wash the sacrifice and also the priest that washed himself too. Read. And the blood. And the blood. <coughs> <coughs> that 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 animal sacrifice was killed, and the blood of the sacrifice was put on the four horns. Is that right? Of this uh all for sin sacrifice, you got me? Mm -hmm. To show blood, water, spirit, these three agree in one. You take your physical body of man, is that right? That's right. <clears throat> Spirit, water, and blood is in every human being that's breathing and walking around on this earth today. You understand? <clears throat> they testify to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. These three are one. Okay? Yes. <clears throat> is that good? That's yes. All right. So, I'm saying all I have to say this. So, back to the tablet. That's what the three things that Yahweh physical physical structure that Yahweh told man only to build for him in the history of society. Mm -hmm. Okay? Physical structures, and, and, and if you notice, all three of them are three levels. That's right. You got me? Point, point two. The Father, the Word, the Holy Spirit, these three are one. Okay? Mm -hmm. If me Romans 19 and 20, just hold it though. <clears throat> Romans, Romans, Romans 1 19 and 20. Okay? Okay. So now, well, watch it. <clears throat> Just get real quick, John 5 and 46. Real quick. Read, read that right now. <clears throat> John 5 and 46. Holy name Bible. Read on. Read on, please. For as the Father had no, life... No, John 5 and 46, please. For had ye believed Moses... For had ye believed Moses... Now, this is Yahshua Messiah speaking to the disciples, or speaking to the Hebrews, or speaking to people that were around him. Mm -hmm. He got me at this point, because he... We have a little father in John 5 and 39, he said, he searched the scriptures. Mm -hmm. He knew what they was doing when they went to that Bible. You got me? Right. And, 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 the, and the point is, there was only the scriptures meaning what? Uh, the uh, the first five books of your Bible from from Genesis to Deuteronomy mm -hmm. and from Joshua to Yahshua to Malachi is 34. So five and 34 makes up 39, right? Combined, right? Mm -hmm. So those are the scriptures that he's talking about because that was the only thing in writing. You understand? Mm -hmm. When Yahshua saw walked the earth plane, it wasn't no Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts, Corinthians, Romans. Mm -hmm. You understand? What I'm talking about. Uh, Peter, Peter and, 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 and it wasn't none of that. Okay. So that's why we refer to the scriptures because that's all they had. But he he knew what they were going to that Bible to do. You got me? <laughs> yeah. But but go on down. Forty six again. Come on. Okay. For, what are you reading from? I'm reading uh, John five and forty six. From where? Holy name Bible. Read on. For had ye believed Moses? So Yahshua Messiah said, "Now had you believed Moses, you would have believed me." Why is that? For he wrote of me. Now he said Moses wrote of him. So when you read over there in Genesis 6 about the ark, when you read over there in the, uh, Exodus 25 uh, about the tabernacle, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. Those are, those Genesis and Exodus are the books, or the, yeah, or the books that, 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 that uh, Moses credited for writing. You understand what I'm talking about? You understand what I'm talking about? Yes. So in other words, Noah was given a divine vision, divine specification, how to build his ark. You got to say mm -hmm. Divine specification or divine pattern. Right? Right. You see how I go? Three levels to show Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua. You got me? Mm -hmm. These three are one. You see how I go? Mm -hmm. was given the, Moses was given divine vision, 
in divine revelation, uh, uh, divine specification, a divine pattern, how to build the tabernacle. You, you understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes. You see how I go? Mm -hmm. You see how I go? And David was given divine pattern, divine, divine specifications, how to build the um, the temple, but we understand that he couldn't build it because he had blood on his hand. Right. He, he was a man of war. Right. So he had this the divine specification and he had to transfer them, if I can say it like that, mm -hmm. to his son Solomon. And Solomon was the one that had to build the temple. You got me? Mm -hmm. But they all three had something in common. They threefold mm -hmm. and make up. They're right. one. Mm -hmm. And they all were, were uh, uh, built by divine specifications or 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 by divine pattern. Is that right? That's right. Because why? Because LMC mm -hmm. is the archetype original pattern of the universe. <laughs> See, they got these physical, these men, they call themselves architects. Is that right? That's right. Now they think they're the ones that's having these buildings built. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. You say I'm going to get it from Yahweh. I mean, they didn't get it from Yahweh. Really, Yahweh, Yahweh himself operating through the man. Right. Really, you understand what I'm right. talking about? Yahweh is the, is the original architect. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. And what it say, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it said that Moses wrote of him. You see how I go? Mm -hmm. So Moses was, Mo, in other words, Mo, Yahweh Elohim showed himself in divine vision, meaning he communed with, with Moses' inner man. There ain't no physical man. Right. See, we, see, I'm going, I'm, 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 I don't want to go there. But he did it with Moses' inner man. See that? Yahweh Elohim was dealing with Noah's inner man. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yahweh Elohim was dealing with David's inner man. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. And on this side of the cross, he's going to deal with your inner man too. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. talking about? That's the true you. You got me? Because we know no man. You got me? Right. After the flesh. We're going to read about that in a second. Okay? Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you got to write it down so you won't forget it. So I won't forget it. But I want you to go right now to uh, Romans mm -hmm. 10. Romans 10. I mean, not Romans 10. Romans 1 19. Romans 1 I want you to write this down. Okay. Okay. Go to uh, 1 Corinthians. <coughs> 1 Corinthians. What's the time there? 17. Stop it at, um, not stop it, ding the bell at, at, uh, at uh, 35. Okay. okay. So we got First Corinthians. First mm -hmm. Corinthians. First Corinthians. First um, Corinthians. Come on. First Corinthians or Second Corinthians? Yeah. Will be Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians five and sixteen. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Okay. So continue. Romans. Romans. Romans one nineteen and twenty in Holy Name Bible. Read on. Because that which may be known of Yahweh. See, because that which may be known of Yahweh is manifest in them. Like I said, manifest in them who in them the Hebrew or the Jews back here. You got me? Mm -hmm. Under the law. Okay. Or in the Old Testament. Okay, read. Four. Yahweh has shown it to them. Yahweh has shown it to them, read. For the visible things of him from see, the creation. See, for the, for the invisible things of him who him Yahweh. From read. the creation of the world. For, for, the, for, for the creation of the world, read. Are clearly seen. Are clearly seen, read. Being understood by the things that are made. See, be understood, be understood by the ark that was made, physically. Be understood by the tabernacle that was made. You mm -hmm. got me? Physically, be understood by the temple that was made, physically. Is that right? That's right. Why? Read. Even his eternal power. See, and even, see even, even his eternal power, read. And supernatural. See, the power nature is Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua. See, that's the power nature of Yahweh. These three are one. That, you, you understand what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? These three are one by the physical. You got me? Mm -hmm. See? One, two, three levels, one arc. You got me? That's right. One, two, three levels, one tabernacle. Is that right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three levels, one temple. You got me? That's to show right. the support of nature. Something physical to point to the spiritual. You got me? Mm -hmm. That's what everything in creation is made for. Ain't that something? Ain't that beautiful? And one door, too. No, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. You listen? Yes. We ain't talking about that. 
Okay? Mm -hmm. you, you got it? Mm -hmm. So point two, read. Read right there. So that they are without excuse. Go back to his palm, his palm nature part. Come okay. on. His eternal power is upon nature. Read. So they are without excuse. They and us are, we don't have no excuse mm -hmm. to know to know with surety something about a healthy father, about a thing that are made. You got me? Mm -hmm. Even your physical body. You got mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. The planets, the, 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 your, your dog, your pets, your fish in your aquarium, everything. It don't matter. The planets, you got me? Whatever it may be, the animal life, the plant life, the vegetation life, you got me? Ain't that beautiful? Yes. That's all it's made for. Even your physical body, mm -hmm. you got me? To point to Yahweh, it's a part of nature. You understand? Yes. These three are one. Ain't that something? That's wonderful. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now, what you what, what, what I have you holding? You have me holding St. Corinthians 5 and 16. Read. <coughs> Second Corinthians five and sixteen, holy name Bible. Read it on. Wherefore henceforth no we no man after the flesh. Now do you hear what that said? Now he said henceforth. See, we gotta get it now. Henceforth, that's that's a see that's a that's a that's a that's a hard one to deal with because we walk around in these veils. Yes. You got me? But we, we got to pick up because that's why our our, our uh, seventh aim says to the to to, to discern and avoid being deceived, right? Mm -hmm. By that spirit tabernacle inside of bodies, you got me? Mm -hmm. One spirit or the other one. Which one is speaking through the body? You got me? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. talking about? You see how I go? Yeah. So it says if we speak it blind the bodies, physical bodies, every now and then. You got me? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So y'all we got to continue to escapade current superstitions, skepticism, and ignorance. Out this head cap, you gotta be steady to consume carnality out the die. You understand? Mm -hmm. And out the ears drums too. You got me? Talking about spiritually, you understand what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Read. Wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh. So we know no man after the flesh. So so see so we gotta know these pastors and bishops and imams and priests, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. After the outer man. You got you got me? You listening? Mm-hmm. Even you, who, whoever you dealing with, communicate on the phone line. You don't see no physical where you can go more go on the uh, uh, video chat. You can see the face and all that type of stuff. Either person, mm -hmm. but but most 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 of the time you you're talking to a you're speaking with a voice a voice to voice. Right. You got me. You don't see no physical. You understand? Even in that, that's when Yahweh bring, really elevates you in, in the discernment. Who am I speaking with? He got me the Holy Spirit or the Modern Spirit. You got me? Mm -hmm. But what did he say? Henceforth what? Wherefore, henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Read. Though we have known the Messiah. See, we know, see, we got this, so we got the Messiah. See? Read. After the flesh. See, even we know this pictorial illustration of the Messiah. See, even people got, you got people that got, Got got the got the picture who they think to be the Messiah mm -hmm. on in their houses with a picture. Most like most of the time is a Caucasian face. I know there's some now. Probably update. They will have a picture of a black man. You understand? But that's still physical. Carnal. I mean, a, a, a Caucasian color or, or or black color or whatever you have, we want to call the colors. You got me? Mm -hmm. It's still. Physical, we got the image of some flesh in our head. You understand? That's right. But he said, no, no more. Yahshua, who the world called Jesus, after this image right here. Read. Though we have known the Messiah after the flesh. See, we know the Messiah after this image right here. Read. Yet now, henceforth. But henceforth no, now, what? No, we him no more. We Lord. know him no more. What? Therefore, if any man... No, we ain't talking about that. Read that again, right there. Okay. 16 verse, right there. Okay. Yet now henceforth know we him no more. So henceforth know we him no more after no, this yeah, image yeah. right here. You got me? So we got to know because we understand that he crawled spirit. Mm -hmm. You understand? Spirit, blood, and water came out. Ushered in the present kingdom age. Ushered in the Holy Spirit when he came right back. You understand what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. In you and in me. You got me by the witness. Why? Because we got blood, water, and spirit in tabernacle inside his body. Ain't that something? You got me? He is coming. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. In you. Ain't that something? Yes. Now, 
we have what we call right here our Aya Asher Aya chart. You got me? Mm -hmm. We have two spirit beings on here. Is that right? That's right. We have Joshua. You got me? Mm -hmm. And we have the satanic spirit. You got me? Mm -hmm. These two are two spirit beings. You got me saying? You understand? Know yes. Underneath a coat of flesh. You got me? So that's what we got to know. An individual by now. You got me? Mm -hmm. After what's coming out their mouth, you can, Yahweh it will increase you to where you can identify that boy by the way he walks. You understand? Mm -hmm. His his uh uh what they call it uh 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 um uh, uh, uh what's it side or or uh, uh, how to say it uh, uh body language. You got me? Mm -hmm. You can be getting the Yahweh you really you get the key get keen. You pick him up in speech, you can pick him up, you got me? In the body language too, you got me? That, that language that how he's moving is speaking, you got me? So mm -hmm. no no man after the flesh, now you know him after the spirit, you got me? That's you right. see how it go? Mm -hmm. It's either one spirit or the other one, you understand, that you're dealing with, day in and day out. You understand? That's right. Is that beautiful? Okay. Anything that's else holy? Right. No, sir. Okay, so let's get, um, get from me, um, get from me, um, Matthew 28, 9, 19 and 20. Matthew 28, 9. 20, 19 and 20. Okay. Get from me, um, John 19 for the King James Bible. I want to get it real quick. Here. John 19 for the, from the King James Bible. I want you to write down Ephesians uh, uh, um, um, let's see. Matter of fact, get Zechariah. Get Zechariah first. Read that first. Zechariah 14 and 9. But I want you to get through what I called out. Um, yeah, uh, John, John, ninth, the nineteenth chapter. I want, um, <clears throat> I want you to read um, John nineteen is um, John nineteen um, in verse thirty. Um, in 30, um, um, 30, 33, and 34 from the Holy Name Bible, okay? From the King James I mean, from the King James Version, that, that, that one only. Okay. Okay. Then go to um, Ephesians 4. We start at verse 1. I'll tell you when to stop when you start reading it. Okay. And we want to um, finish at um, finish at Ephesians the sixth chapter. Mm -hmm. Ephesians six. Time, please. Uh, Twenty-eight. Okay, so we got to move. <coughs> if, um, Ephesians six. That's the last one. What you read? <coughs> Ephesians six started um, verse ten. Okay, we want to end right there, okay? So, Zechariah, Zechariah uh, 14 and 9 right now, let's go. Uh, Zechariah or John? Or Zachariah? Come on now, Zechariah 14 and 9 right now, uh, Holy Name Bible. Zechariah 14 and 9. Yes, Zechariah 14 and 9. Are you there? Yes, sir. Read. Holy Name Bible. Zechariah 14 and 9, Holy Name Bible. Read. And Yahweh shall be king of all the earth. So Yahweh shall be king of all the earth, read. And, and in that day, and in that day, read, Yahweh would prove to be unity uh -huh. and with one name. So you, Yahweh would prove to be a unity, see, according to Deuteronomy 6 and 4, mm -hmm. and with one name. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, go to Matthew 28, 28 19 and 20. Matthew 28, 
19 and 20 verses. 19 and 20 verses. Read. Read on. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. All right. Teach all people. Read. Emerging them in the name of the Father. Now hold it now. See, the first speaker said that which we wish it was true, but it's, it's more true up than that. Uh -huh. Now, you had you had cardinal, uh, what they it's still call the ordinances that have been restored on the side of the cross. Uh -huh. You understand? By the satanic spirit. You got me? Okay. Operating through these preachers and imams and, and, and priests. You got me? Uh -huh. And these popes and cardinals and things like that. I'm talking about the religious world. That's what, that's, that's what I refer to. Okay. I'm talking about the spirits. That's operating through them. You got me? Okay. Because on this chart it says carnal orders restored. You got me? Mm -hmm. So they have restored when Yahshua came in and knelt to the cross for fear. Is that right? That's right. Fish and move out of the way. Didn't destroy them, but moved it out of the way. What do you mean by that? Mean this way to worship him. You got me? Mm -hmm. That's not the way you worship him now. You got me? Right. They're worshiping him that way. Something that he knelt, that he said not to do, mm -hmm. or he finished the work for you. Now you try to do physical, something physical over here, you got me? Because that's what it says over there in Romans 10. You say, you're going about trying to establish your own righteousness by doing these acts on this side of the cross. You got me? Mm -hmm. You're saying that the Savior didn't do what he said he did. You call him a liar. You got me? So since you call him a liar, so you're going to take upon yourself, mm -hmm. you got me, to do what he said he came in to fulfill it all pointed to him. You got me? Yeah. He ushered in a new and living way. You got me? You got me? Mm -hmm. Spiritual. Now. You got me? Watch it now. So, but you see, now you will see it says sacrifices mm -hmm. here. Physical sacrifices. Now, here you says spiritual sacrifice. You got me? Mm -hmm. We still have circumcision done, but we're not doing a circumcision. He's doing a circumcision on this side. Made with our hands. You see how it goes? Yes. We, 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 we do baptize now on this side of the cross. You read about we baptize in the name. Mm -hmm. You see how it goes? Right. You understand what I'm talking about? Yes. You got me? Yes. We, have, we, offer, we offer up sacrifices daily. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. You say, let your body uh, uh, your body be a living sacrifice. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. talking about? You see how it goes? So there's, it, it is a converted to reality. We, we, we just done the spirit now. You see right. how it goes? Yes. Read on. Go ye, go ye therefore and teach all nations, emerging them in the name of the Father. Now watch this now. See, every, every, every religious world, see the Satanic spirit incarnated in them, every time they read that, they <laughs> see water. You don't see water, they do it. No. Water flash in their head. They get something automatically. Baptism mean water. Right. They don't see nothing about water. They say baptize them in the name, right? right. In the name of what? In the name of Yahweh, mm -hmm. read. Come on. In the name of the Father. That's right. In the name of Father Yahweh, read. And in the Son. The Word of the Son Elohim, read. And of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit Yahshua, read. Teaching them to observe Teach, all things. Teaching them to observe these things, read. Whatsoever I have commanded you. All right. And lo, I am with you always. See, now there he goes. See, lo, I am with you always. See, telling you, he showed you by physical Blood, water, and spirit is in you all the time. Is that right? right? Or air, water, and blood in you all the time. Is that right? Mm -hmm. If it's not, you know you know where your body going to be. Is that right? But until the end, he with you and in you all the time. Is that something? That's what he said, right? That's what he said. That's what he said? Yes. Even to the end of the day, that's what he said. Yes. You got me? He told Moses back here. He said, certainly, Moses. I will be with you, Moses. You got me? Mm -hmm. I'm in you, Moses. Always been there, Moses. Mm -hmm. Certainly, I will be with you, Moses, all the way to the end of the age. You got me? Mm -hmm. Then and now, same one. You got me? Read. Uh, I am with you always, even until the end of the age. All right, so I go. So we're in the fourth age, right? And they will be always, he's going to be with us all the way to the end. <laughs> Ain't that beautiful? Yes. Read. Now, you go go to uh, John 19 for the King James Bible. Get them, get them verses. And we're going to get the move, got the move. John 19. And 30, 30. come on. I mean, I mean uh, King James Version. Read. When, when Elohim, when Yahweh, therefore, had received the vinegar. When Yahshua, therefore, had received the vinegar, read. He said, it is finished. He said, it's finished now. And he bowed. Finished his, what? It finished fulfilling cardinal uh -huh. ordinances or physical ways of worshiping me. You got me? Uh -huh. I finished it. Read, because all pointed to me. Read. And he bowed his head 
and gave up the ghost. But you see his head bowed? He yes. says he bowed his head and gave up the ghost or gave up the spirit. Ain't that something? Yes. Read. So spirit come out, represent the Father, Yahweh. Now go on, go on down the verse now. 33. Read. According, I mean, King James Version. Read. But when they came to Yahshua and saw that he was dead uh, already, uh -huh. they broke not his legs. Read. But one of the soldiers. They broke not his legs. Why? Because the scriptures cannot be broken. You understand what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? But the unity of the spirit cannot be broken. See? Read. But one of the soldiers which are which with a spear pierced his side. See, so still they pierced his side. You have, a, you have a side of point of blood right here. Why I do that? Because he fulfilled back here quarter Exodus 12. When they had to take out that lamb, you got me? In a bunch of A, a B of or correspond with our April, April 10th, hold Hold to the 14th, right? Mm -hmm. So when you ready to do this Passover feast, it comes out of here out of Egypt, is that right? Mm -hmm. You have to pierce that lamb in the side. Yes. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And drain that blood out. Then it say where say where they say pierce them at? Inside. Read it again. Read. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. Pierced his side here, pierced, pierced the lamb's side here, because this lamb points to a true lamb. You can see how it go? Mm -hmm. He fulfilled all that. You get something. Mm -hmm. Get the one right here, read. And forthwith came there out blood and water. It came out blood and water. Water synonymous to Elohim. Blood synonymous to Yahshua. You got me? Poured out. You understand? Know you see what side it poured out on? That's right. So if it poured out, what side will come out on? Will come out on this side. You understand what I'm talking about? Right. Now on this side, but on this side. Ain't that something? Yahweh Elohim Yahshua, we spirit one. Right back in you. You got me? By by the by the Three three things in you that agree in one to point to the department of Yahweh, these be a one. You understand? Yes. The physical to understand the spiritual. Ain't that something? Yes. Ephesians, that's where you at? Yes, sir. Ephesians four and three. Ephesians four and one. Read. Her name Bible. Read on. Therefore the prisoner of Elohim beseech you that ye walk worthy in the vocation wherewith ye are called. See you see now 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 just just hold, I got to go right where you are, cause uh 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 that's beautiful. Now you're in Ephesians 4, right? Yes. Ephesians 4. And what? Okay, but I want to, um, but I want you to, um, um, let me see. Yes, yeah, good. Keep reading. Keep reading. I'm sorry. Keep reading. Read. Uh, Ephesians 4 1, Holy Name Bible. Read. Therefore, the prisoner of Elohim. See, see, therefore, the prisoner of Elohim. Read. Prisoner of Elohim beseech you beseech that, you that that ye walk worthy in the vocation of wherewith ye are called. Now watch now that we walk worthy of the vocation of the of, of or of the duty of the job that Yahweh has given us. You gotta say I'm talking about. You see how I go? Mm -hmm. That we walk worthy in that vocation or the job that Yahweh has laid on us to do. It's really him doing it, doing it, doing it. Through these vessels, read that he had chosen. Read on. With all lowliness. With all humility, read. And meekness. Read. With long suffering. Long suffering. Forbearing one another in love. Forbearing one another in love, read. Endeavoring. Endeavoring. To keep the unity of the spirit. All right, you didn't say endeavoring, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit according to Deuteronomy 6 and 4, you understand? According to Zechariah, and that's something? Mm -hmm. 14 and 9, to keep the unity of the spirit. Endeavoring to do that, read. In the bond of peace. In the bonds of peace, read. Therefore, there, excuse me, there is one body. There is one body. And one spirit. And one spirit, read. Even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Read. One Elohim. One Elohim. One faith. One faith. One immersion. Read, one immersion. Shall I go read? One is Yahweh. One is Yahweh. And the Father of all. The Father of all. Who is above all. Read. And through all. Read on. And in you all. All right. Now go to go to um, um, Ephesians 6 and 10. The time, please. 39. Good. Ephesians, Ephesians 6 and 10, Holy Name Bible. Read. Finally, my brother, uh -huh. be strong in Yahweh. Be strong in Yahweh. And in and in the power of his in might. In the power of his might. Read on. Keep reading. Put all the whole put on the whole armor of Elohim. He's telling you to do something, instruct you to do something, put on the whole arm of Yahweh. Read. That ye may be able to stand the walls of the of the devil. Read. Come on. 
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Now you hear that. See, we know no man in the flesh any longer because we're not we're not dealing with physical what we thought we were. You got me? You understand? Know yes. Read that right here. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So that goes hand in hand. We henceforth know no man after the flesh and blood. You got me? You understand what I'm talking about? Yes. Why is that? Read. But against principalities. Against principalities. Against powers. <coughs> against powers. Against world <coughs> rulers. The world rulers. Of his darkness. The darkness. Against see? spiritual wickedness in high places. See, spiritual wickedness. What we're dealing with, we're dealing, we're dealing with spiritual wickedness. You got me? In high places. You understand? Yes. They put these. They put the Pope, these religious, these religious heads and bishops and imams and things, and, and, and even 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 uh, uh, um, leaders as far as you know, uh, uh, political. Mm -hmm. You got me. Um, shoot, uh, entertainment wise, you understand? Talk about medical doctors. You got me. Mm -hmm. Put them. You got me. High. You know. Put uh, esteem them high. Idolize them. You got me. Mm -hmm. Read on. Uh, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Elohim Read. that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day see be able to withstand within the evil day read and having overcome to stand uh huh stand therefore having your loins girt about stand there therefore having your loins girt about read with truth with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness having on the breastplate of righteousness read and your feet Short and your feet shod. Read. Shod. Dig in. Read. With the uh, preparation. Preparation Come of on. the glad tidings. With, with the gospel. Read. Of, of peace. Read. Above all. Above all. Taking the shield of faith. Taking the shield of faith. Whereas ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Quick, quick. You understand? Know be able to quench the fiery darts, all the fiery darts of the wicked one. You got me? What's coming out that mouth? You got me? Uh -huh. You understand? Know read. Come on. And and take the helmet of salvation. Take the helmet of salvation, read. And the sword of the spirit. In the sword of the spirit, read. Which is the word of Yahweh. Read. Praying always with all prayer. Read. And supplication. Read. And the spirit. Read. And watching there up on with all preparations all, and supplications. Read. Of all sons. Huh? Of all sons. It says saints. But read. And for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth that, boldly. That's why I read. And make known the mystery of the of the gospel. All right. For which I am an ambassador of the we, we are ambassadors, read, come on. In bonds. Right. That therein I may speak boldly. Right, that's right. As I ought to speak. Read. But that ye also may know my affairs and know and how I do. Uh Titleris Read. A beloved brother, a faithful minister of the Messiah, shall make known to you all, all things. Read. Whom I have sent upon you for the same purpose, that ye might know your affairs, and that ye might comfort your heart. Read. Read. Peace be to the brethren, and love with faith, for from Yahweh, the Father, the Savior, Yahshua the Messiah. All right. If you got anything on this day's lecture, all praise and glory all belongs to Yahweh Elohim Yahshua, the Messiah, our King and Brother, our Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That will conclude another lecture given by the Omaha Class College Meetings here in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, do you have any comments? All praise to Yahshua Messiah. All praise to Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, I'd like to um, promote some classes that uh, hold their class or actually upload their videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, first of all, I'd like to give you the website of the entire organization. You can go to the website and get the history and the, and the background of, of the organization for yourself. You go to, you put in your computer, type in www.idmr.net, okay, and get the full history and the background of the organization, all right? Mm -hmm. Also, um, like I say, I like to promote um, these classes to upload their videos 
on YouTube, okay? Hmm. First of all, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, give you information on, on our class here. You go to YouTube, search, put an IDMR Omaha and hit search and um, ask Yash Messiah to direct and guide and lead you to, to, to the video that he will want you to watch, okay? And here is um, other um, IDMR uh, class that upload their videos on YouTube, okay? Like I said, you must put in, go to YouTube, search, must put in IDMR, first of all. IDMR Oceanside, IDMR Syracuse, IDMR Spanish Town, Jamaica, IDMR Arc Port, IDMR Ontario, IDMR Southfield, IDMR Springfield, IDMR Albuquerque, IDMR Tampa, Florida, IDMR Lansing, Michigan, and I have, um, there's one other one, you, you do not put in IDMR for this one, but you do go to YouTube, okay, search, put in Memphis side class, you don't put IDMR before their, their name, you just put in Memphis side class on YouTube, search, and click, and they upload their videos, they have videos of their classes also, okay, and, um, I have four websites that I like to promote. The first one is aiaasherai.org. Spelled A Y A H space A S H E R space A Y A H dot org. Also, there's another one www.plim.org. The third one is www.eliyah.com, pronounced Elia. And um, the fourth one is Yahshuans Giving Glory. Yahshua spelled Y A H S H U A N S, Giving Glory. Yahshuans Giving Glory. And we have a, a class. Uh, a class that do not upload video, but they do what they call a, a live conference calls. The class is called Meridian Mississippi class. They have conference calls, live conference calls, and their live conference calls phone number is 1-712-770-4700. And you put in 676-123 hashtag. And um, the, the previous recorded conference calls, you, you dial 1-712-770-4709, and you put in 676-123, hashtag. Okay? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Also, um, we like to invite you to a class here in Omaha, Omaha Class College Means here in Omaha, Nebraska. If you'd like to attend a class here, Give us, give us a, um, a email. Our email address is yashua47 at gmail.com. Once again, yashua, spelled Y-A-H-S-H-U-A, 47 at gmail.com. Leave a comment. Uh, give us, give us uh, the date that you'd like to attend the class here. Um, for the contact information, you can call Dr. Stefan Williams. Area code 402-973-8987 or Rapunzel Williams at area code 402-609-6588. And our classes are held on, on Wednesdays and Fridays from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And on Sunday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. We invite you. And if uh, anyone that lives in the, in, in the Omaha, close proximity of the Omaha area, you don't feel comfortable with, to come here for a class, we'll bring the class to you. This is, these, are, these are free lectures. We do not charge any monies. All we ask for you to do is pay attention, and the floor is open to anyone that has that wants to teach what they believe to be true, or however it goes, or give a reasonable testimony of the things that you have learned by watching one of these YouTube classes, okay? Also, um, was that it? That's it. That's basically it, right? It. So, um, let's stand for the doxology, which can be found in the King James Bible, 
in the book of Jude, spelled J-U-D-E, verse 24 and verse 25, also in the Holy Name Bible under the, under the book entitled Judah, spelled J-U-D-A-H, verse 24 and verse 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you fall before his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Elohim, our Savior, through Yahshua Messiah, our Sovereign, belong in glory and majesty, dominion and power, both before all times, now and ever. Let us all say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.